Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will give you an overview of the aluminum capabilities inside SIA Engineer. My name is Jael de Kammer and I'm product owner at SIA for everything related to metal. The question I want to answer during this video is what can SIA Engineer bring to your aluminum design? Of course, one of the biggest and most important topics for aluminum design is cross-section design and the classification. Um, we will shortly have a look at how this happens inside CI Engineer and what can be achieved for cross-sections. Next, we have the Eurocode verifications together with their transparent and detailed outputs. SIA is also capable to handle the most simplest to the most complex models, and no model is too small or too big to be handled by our software. The aluminium design in C Engineer comes together with advanced analysis options, of which I will give you a quick overview. You're capable of creating some personalized profile libraries that you can share throughout your projects. And last but not least, we also offer some possibilities for scaffolding design with aluminium scaffolds. Okay, let's jump right into the first and most important topic, which is the cross-section design. What you see here is um, the cross-section input inside the engineer together with the classification and the calculation of the effective section. All of this uh, is calculated automatically and um, it is shown even before you are running a calculation inside SIA Engineer. You can import any section from the existing library or you can import your own shape through DWG or other drawings if you want to. What's very special about the aluminium sections and actually also steel sections inside C Engineer is that we are working with a dual representation for the cross section. On the one side, we have the cross section with all its tiny stiffening elements or uh, embellishments or corners and, and notches. Um, this one is used for the calculation and of all the growth properties like the area, moment of inertia, etc. Uh, that are also used, for example, to calculate the M-critical for lateral torsional buckling. On the other side, we have a more simplified version of the cross-section, uh, which we call its thin-walled representation. And this representation allows us to automatically classify any kind of cross-section and calculate, for example, the effective section and the effective section properties. Um, so, of course, with the notches, it doesn't know uh, what to do to make a classification, but thanks to this thin wall representation, he knows exactly which elements are symmetrical out, stents, internal parts, etc., and he can calculate the effective section. And you can also add in additional info like heat affected zones, for example. So, this actually allows you to fully design a cross section without even having run a calculation inside C Engineer. Okay, next up is the complete ULS design, which can be executed with one simple click, and it will um, spew out all the numbers and give you green or red colors, depending on if your cross-section passes or does not pass, the checks according to the Eurocode for aluminium. It's also possible to inspect and adapt, for example, buckling factors in settings, buckling lengths, uh, lateral torsional buckling supports can be added, heat affected zone from transfer welds, all of these things can be additionally inputted afterwards. The entire check is done according to the Eurocode rules, and we have also implemented numerous national annexes. It's even possible to adapt uh, these national annexes and change their factors to whatever you personally would like to use. Admissible to aluminium design is also our SLS design. Um, this is a tiny sneak peek uh, to the next version, actually. 
um, where we have enabled adjustable limits for the variable and the total load, and also added in camper design possibilities. So not just a check of our deformation, but also, for example, the design of camber, or you can add in your personal camber value and check if it's sufficient. At SIA, we value the quality of our development over everything. Therefore, we heavily test uh, whatever we develop. Um, for this, we really like to use the benchmarks we can find. Um, and that's no different for aluminium. Um, you can always find those benchmarks marks on our uh, help website, help.sia.net. And there you can see what the benchmark uh, calculation looks like, what the results are, and how they compare to C engineer. Uh, and of course, <laughs> we make sure that they, uh, they correspond closely. Also, during the development of uh, our entire aluminium solution, we were in con close contact with the Eurocode writers um, to make sure that our solution is implemented the way they envisioned it. Of course, a ULS design and SLS design would not be complete if you didn't know how the numbers of the unity checks were obtained. Therefore, in C Engineer, you can ask for a complete detailed output of the calculations of the unity check together with the formulas even and filled in values and the references to the Eurocode where these formulas are coming from. This way, you know exactly how each and every value was obtained inside the check. No model is too simple or too complex for a CI engineer. Whether you are just designing the cross-section itself or a simple beam, or you are designing, like these master students, the gigantic roof of a very famous stadium inside of Belgium, you can use SIA Engineer to obtain your results of your design. Um, you can do the optimization of the profile, calculate some facade structure, balustrade anchorings in 2D even, uh, facade constructions, scaffolding, roofs, halls, bridges, whatever you'd like to. Um, I would also like to especially thank Serial Klauwerst who provided me with those little example models that you can see on the screen. As I said, um, the aluminium solution inside C Engineer is combined together with some powerful analysis capabilities inside C Engineer. For the nonlinear analysis, we have nonlinear member behavior, connection behavior, support behavior, as well as second order calculation, geometrical um, nonlinearities, cables, plasticity. You can dream it and it's possible uh, to calculate these. The imperfections according to the Eurocode 9 for aluminium can also be automatically calculated and added to your model. Combined with this, we also have a stability analysis that gives you the buckling shapes, which actually can also be used as imperfection for your second order calculation. Um, the stability analysis can also count for nonlinear behavior in this uh, stability analysis, and it is possible to use these for 1D and for 2D members. So you can also completely design 2D aluminium structures with the engineer together with the plasticity and the bucking shapes as imperfection, you can actually design plates as well. And finally, we have dynamic capabilities where you can analyze the eigen frequencies of a building. You can run a full seismic calculation. Um, you can see what the effect is of, is of some harmonic loading. Or if you're brave, you can go for an actual time history analysis and see the evolution of the movement over time. Almost finally, we have our solution for scaffolding. Um, CI is maybe known for its unique scaffolding solution for steel, but it also exists for aluminium, complete with both the element design and the coupler design is for aluminium couplers. 
You can add in some famous couplers from the library, or you can add in your own aluminium coupler with its own resistance values and check it with our software. Finally, I want to get back to our sections. Um, as I told you, it is possible to import these sections through a DWG file, analyze them, and through finite element calculation, calculate the exact properties of these sections, um, and then analyze also um, the classification and the effective section through the tint vault representation. Once you're done, you can save these sections to a file and load them to all your future projects. Do you want to see more? Are you interested in testing out our aluminium solution? Then you can download a 30-day free trial from our website. You can have a look at our manuals if you're looking for more detailed info on how everything can be done and achieved in CI Engineer. And if this doesn't get you further, you can try to consult the online help page or contact our team of experts, by which, of course, I mean our support team at support at CIA.net, or even book a training for a detailed one-on-one -on -one or one-on-your-company explanation of the aluminium design solution in CI Engineer. <laughs>